Yeah, well, today is October 10th, I believe, but anyway, I'm doing a little video on this device that I built. And uh, I don't know if this will come through, but I'm going to put a filter in front of the lens of the welding lens. So you can see the arc, carbon arc, self starter. Okay, I'm going to plug it, shut it off. Okay, you can see what we got here. Now, how this works is the carbons are preset at about a quarter inch spacing between the pointed end, which is the e negative, and the bottom or the lower one is the positive, which is the anode. And uh, that'll be cut out where the sample will be placed, a small particle or a ground up sample or liquid or whatever. And then you, you, uh, you, know, you can run your analysis. But the idea is just to use this for short bursts, maybe 10, 15 seconds. And uh, what you do is, I designed it in such a way it's uh, to start, you, you, you push this down. The electrodes are charged when you turn the power on, so everything in these bars would be hot electrically. And then you would depress this to contact the two electrodes and then release, and the arc's established. Seems to work very well so far. But there again, this is a prototype. It's kind of put together the materials that I had. I also set it up that this knob, you can adjust this depth height. As you can see it traveling down, that would be, as the electrodes get consumed, you would allow you to be able to adjust the electrode distance or spacing if they're hot and or if it was like electrically plugged in and uh, so you don't have to reach inside. Eventually there will be a cabinet around this fixture with a removable front for service and to load your sample. But that's the concept. Uh, Hopefully that makes sense, and uh, I will be posting drawings and schematics of all this when the time comes after I get it <laughs> kind of perfected. So, but this so far is working really well. That's uh, what I my report so far.